Managing high red blood cell count, treatment options and potential side effects. Hey there, welcome to today's video. In this episode, we'll be diving into the topic of high red blood cell count, also known as polysemia, and exploring the available treatment options to lower or manage it effectively. We'll also discuss the potential side effects associated with these treatments. So, let's get started. Understanding High Red Blood Cell Count Before we delve into the treatments, let's briefly understand what high red blood cell count entails. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, are responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body. An excessive increase in the number of red blood cells can lead to thicker blood, impairing its flow and potentially causing complications such as blood clots, heart problems, and strokes. Treatment Options 2.1 Phlebotomy Phlebotomy is a common treatment for high red blood cell count. It involves removing blood from the body, similar to blood donation, to decrease the total red blood cell count. This process helps to thin the blood and reduce the risk of complications. Phlebotomy is typically performed in a medical setting and may require multiple sessions over a period of time to maintain the desired red blood cell levels. 2.2 Medications In certain cases, your healthcare provider may prescribe medications to manage high red blood cell count. These medications aim to suppress the production of red blood cells or reduce the amount of circulating red blood cells in the body. Examples of medications commonly used include hydroxyurea and interferon alpha. It's important to note that medication options may vary based on the underlying cause of the condition, and your healthcare provider will determine the most suitable treatment plan for you. 2.3 Lifestyle changes alongside medical interventions, adopting certain lifestyle changes can also contribute to managing high red blood cell count. Staying well hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids can help prevent blood from becoming too thick. Avoiding smoking and reducing exposure to high altitudes or environmental factors that stimulate increased red blood cell production may also be beneficial. Your healthcare provider can provide specific recommendations tailored to your individual needs. Potential Side Effects While the treatments discussed can effectively manage high red blood cell count, it's essential to be aware of potential side effects that may arise. 3.1 Phlebotomy Side Effects Phlebotomy is generally considered safe. However, some potential side effects may include dizziness, lightheadedness, fatigue, and mild bruising or bleeding at the site where blood is drawn. These side effects are usually temporary and resolve on their own. 3.2 Medication Side Effects Medications prescribed for high red blood cell count may have specific side effects associated with them. Common side effects of medications like hydroxyurea and interferon alpha can include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, skin rashes, fatigue, and an increased risk of infection. It's important to closely follow your healthcare provider's instructions and promptly report any side effects experienced during treatment. 3.3 Lifestyle Changes Lifestyle changes generally do not pose significant side effects, but it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider before implementing any modifications. They can guide you on the most appropriate lifestyle adjustments based on your specific circumstances. That wraps up our discussion on the available treatments to lower or manage high red blood cell count, as well as the potential side effects associated with them. Remember, if you suspect or have been diagnosed with high red blood cell count, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional too.